Hi guys, Robby46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP17. Let's continue with managerial career mode. We are racing at Mizano. We are on pole position and we are heading towards the championship. Uh, just before we start, guys, I would like to say a big, big thank you to Life, who's on the screen now, for uh, designing my new YouTube profile picture. Uh, so a huge thank you to him. I love my new profile picture. Um, I know that a few of you guys have put in the comments that you like it as well. So a huge thank you to him. Now let's go get this race underway. As you can see, I've changed my colour scheme as well. Changed uh, the um, sponsors as well to Oakley. Just because I actually figured out that that's the best paid one um, in Moto2. Especially if you get decent results in your teammate does as well so we're going black white and orange so let's go do this oh okay bad start I forgot to put it in gear again I've done that a few times in Moto2 so I dropped down to 16th as so we try and go up the inside of Siren we're up to 15th round the outside of Pons then up the inside of Quattararo and we're up to 13th so we were going a lot quicker in qualifying. Inside of Agatha and Danny Kent is ahead of us. Right, we've got a good little run here. Luca Marini just in the way a little bit there. Yeah, so hopefully we should be able to fight our way to the front. Outbreak, no. Okay, didn't get anywhere, in that, anywhere there. Slipstream and then get up the inside into this uh, little hairpin we got coming up. No, nope, but we closed him. Got a little bit wide. Okay, but well we're <laughs> not that far away from the end of the lap already, and we've only made up like five places. So we need to pull our finger out. Up the inside of Schrotter and Nakagami. Bit of a nudge. Is he going to come back through there? I think he is. Yes, he is. Around the outside of him this time. No, that's not going to work. Schrotter's trying to come back through. Right, up the inside of Nakagami at this left-hander. There we go. I don't think we're going to get the inside of anyone at the final corner, but hopefully we can get a good run out and then get in the slipstream and out break into the first corner. Actually, I don't think that's going to work because they're pulling away at the final corner. So we just have to... Try and take tighter lines if we go to the inside now. Nope, didn't work. They're all over the place. They're going to hold each other up, but we're trying to go around the long way around, and that's not going to work. Okay, so... Ooh, we're only ninth at the moment. Leaders aren't that far ahead, so that's good. So we switch to the left and get a good run out. That was better that time. We've still got Marini just ahead of us, but we should be able to get him in the next corner, hopefully. Although he slips from him, Pacini. At the inside. Ooh, sorry, Pacini. We've got Marini. Pacini's lost another place as well. Well, the front three went really wide there. Baldazari's up next. We're up to sixth. Well, we've still got a lot of work to do. We've got one more lap to go after this. Closing through the quick right-handers. Oh, trying to go around the outside. That's not going to work. They're all over the place. They were all went off track that time. And they've all gone very wide, so we'll be able to cut it back. They're all going off track again. Around the outside of Marquez. That's not going to work, is it? No, he's going to have us into the last corner. Push us a little bit wide, which means Baldazari's come back through. So we're back down to sixth. And we've got one more lap to go. So we need to pull our finger out. They keep going really deep into a lot of corners. Right up the inside here. We get at least two of them. So we're up to fourth. Luti's up next. Get him out of the way. So Oliveira and Morbidelli. Are up next. We've gone in a bit too deep there. We may lose another position. Luti's back underneath. But we managed to hang around the outside of him. Good exit there. Try and get an Oliveira's slipstream. Not 
Should be able to outbreak him. So let's just make sure we get around the corner fine. I think we're going to have to try and just nail those right handers and uh, get them into there. They've gone wide again. Come on. We can do this. Whoever's right behind me is pretty damn close. Although we're closing in on Oliveira now. Trying to go around the outside of him. That's not going to work. He's going to go wide. Can you shove up the inside note. They're both going to go wide again, are they? Yes, they are. Try and cut back. We didn't get the best of runs out of there. But we're going to get Oliveira here. And it's just going to come down to the final corner. Can we get more Bedelli? So we're trying to outbreak him. Oh, just about managed it. And we're going to take the win at the final corner. Just managed to get ahead of Morbidelli. A little bit of contact, but we got him. There we go. Another win for us. That was a tough race. That took a lot longer to get to the front than what I was anticipating. Our teammate, I don't think he got any points. It's looking good for the championship. Still got five races left to go. So still quite a few points left on the table. All we've got to do is get some decent results in the next two races and we should be good. I much prefer this colour scheme to the other one we had. Okay, so pole position again, but look who's in second place. Our teammate. And we're racing the Aragon. So our teammate has pulled his finger out again. He has loads of absolute shit results in qualifying and then just every so often he bangs in a good one. Of course we've done this one in first person. I don't like Aragon. Let's go. Okay so there is one corner we're going to have to watch out for uh, in the Moto2 class. Uh, when we get to it I'll tell you guys because it is so easy to lose the front. Not as easy as what it was at the last corner of Aus uh, Austria the Red Bull ring. But if you take too much speed through it, you will just completely lose the front. So hopefully we can go through there three times without crashing. Like I said, I don't like Aragon. It's not one of my favourite circuits. It's one of my most hated circuits. But after this, we've got our most hated circuit, Mategi. So let's hope that these two won't result in us losing a load of points because I can see that happening so we come out of here and then we've got that very long left hander we have to be very patient on the throttle otherwise you just go really wide off the track so it's this next left hander that we're coming up to which is really easy to crash into it's not as bad like I said like Austria but it is pretty bad into here especially if you take it too tight as well we've got through there alright and no one's actually bothered us yet. So we're still in the lead. You can crash into here as well, but it's only if you do something stupid. And if you touch the curb on the inside there, you'll crash as well. So just stay away from the curbs and you'll be fine. So we've got 1.2 second lead from Luti at the moment. And our teammate's in third, which is really good. Hopefully he can get a podium. It would be nice for him to get a podium. Into the final corner. I think we put the brakes on a bit too early there. Expect our lead to come down by quite a bit. So it was 1.2. We'll see what it is over the line. If it does tell us, of course. It's under it. Well, it's just over a second. So we lost about 0.2 going into that final corner. But we did break a bit too early. But I'm actually quite surprised that the AI aren't actually attacking me at this track at the moment. Because I'll be honest, it... I, kind of just put together one decent lap in qualifying to put me on pole. I was struggling quite a lot. I think it's because like a lot of the breaker markers are blind so and doing it in first person doesn't help with uh, being able to see where you're going so I was kind of struggling with that a little bit but kind of got used to it. I'm just trying to stay on make sure we get through 
the left hand uh, without any problems. So we go run up to the left hand there. Breaks. No, that was fine. That's pretty spot on. Okay, don't touch any of the inside curbs here. Especially this one. That was perfect. Our lead is over two seconds now. So again, we'll see if it goes down through the final corner. I'll try and break a little bit later this time. Hopefully not too late though. Again, probably a bit too early, but it was a little bit later than last time, so I think we can go a little bit later again. But this is turning out to be a pretty decent race for us. We lost 0.3 of a second that time. But I don't think they're going to uh, attack us. Unless we have a real shocking last lap. Which is highly possible. You never know what could happen. I am missing quite a few apexes, it has to be said. That gap has definitely come down by quite a bit. We've missed so many apexes. That was still 1.7. It looked a lot smaller. Let's try and concentrate. They are a lot closer now. That is less than 1.7 seconds. I don't know why our teammate is. He's not in the top three. Or top four. Well, he should get some decent points nonetheless. Ooh, we went in there a bit too hot, but minus his stay on as well. That would have been disaster if I crashed then. This has been a pretty shocking last lap. See what it is at the split. It's 1.1. We have lost 0.6 of a second in this lap. It's been a horrendous lap. But we shouldn't lose that much time in the final corner. I will try and break a bit later. Oh, got it a bit sideways. That was a lot later. But it's going to be a win at Ar uh, Aragon, even Argentina. We've done Argentina. Aragon. Almost threw it away on the last lap, but just held on. With 1.3, our teammate finished in 7th place. So he dropped back through the field a little bit, but at least he's got some points. So that's good. He's up to 14th as well. Okay, so Mategi, our teammate's dead last, qualifying. We are on pole by decent chunk as well. Now, we can actually win the championship here. Because before this round, it was 90 something points or 93 points or something. Um, so if we get a decent chunk of points here and we leave here with over a 100 point lead, there will only be 75 points left after this race. Um, they're, ooh, they're all trying to come through then yeah, we will be champion if we can get ahead of Morbidelli by the end of this race. Which I'm going to try and do. In fact, we're going past him now. We're going to have Luti, but we're getting way too hot, I think. Yes, we are Luti and Morbidelli are back through. And here comes Marquez, but we're going to hang it around the outside and keep in third place. Into this right hand uh, oh been hit in the rear by Marquez there Oliveira's come three no he hasn't but Morbidelli is in the lead trying to keep his championship alive as we've got a good run through there up the inside of Luti yeah we got him now we need to try and get Morbidelli can we get a good run out of here we can I think we're a bit too far away to get the inside that wasn't going to work anyway. Let's try and hang with more Bedelli. Even if it finishes here, then we will be a uh, champion because 
Oh shit, Luta's come back through, but we cut it back and got a better run out the corner. So yeah, we just got to leave this race with more than 75 point lead, not 100. It was 100 from the last one, but we didn't quite have it. So yeah, more than 75 point lead and we will have the championship sewn up. So if we finish where we are, it's ours. Up the inside of Luti again. Morbidelli's gone wide and we're back in the lead. Of course, this is a track that I cannot stand. I've had to f uh, fiddle with the suspension quite a bit because this bike was understeering so bad. So you had to uh, fiddle with the uh, suspension, had to put disc one brakes on the front and fiddle with the gear ratios as well just because it wasn't happening during qualifying. I think on default setting I was about a second slower than uh, whoever was on pole, which I think was more Delhi at the time, but we managed to sort that out with a few uh, setup changes. We're leading, no one, oh, got hit in the back by Looty that time. So the AI like clobbering me, but we're staying on. And we're in the lead. So, can we break away? away from him. Will Morbidelli, will he fight back? I've got a feeling he will try. But I will try and pull away from him. So we've gone a bit wide again. I think Morbidelli went wide as well. Put through the second, so that's bug rule. Will he slipstream me down here? I don't know, he might outbreak me. Oh shit! In fact, he went straight to the back of us. But we managed again to keep it in the lead. That's three times we've been hit in the back this race. Once by Marquez, once by Luti, and now once by Morbidelli. Maybe they've all got together and they're trying to make me crash. But we're about to start our final lap. Just try and get away from them because they're riding dangerous at the moment. Come on, Need a good lap. Just pull away from them. We're not dropping them too much at the moment. Half a second from Morbidelli. A bit later that time on the brakes. Still got it stopped. Back through here is where it counts. This is where we can open up that gap. Not the best run through there, but we still open the gap up a little bit. It's almost a second. Come on. We can do this. Delhi's still right there. Through the hairpin. Come wide again, but we can cut that back. Okay. We don't want them to outbreak us this time. It's only half a second. And we don't want them ploughing into the back of us again. That was a lot later that time. We've gone wide. Gone off track. They're right behind us because we completely cocked up there. But can we hold off into the final chicane? I think we can. We're usually better through there than the air. Uh, yes, we can. And it's going to be not only a win, but the championship win as well. We won the championship at Mategi. A track I don't like, but we've done it. We are the Moto2 champions. Our teammate finished in 30th place. Nowhere near good enough for his objective. He had 92 points. So, there's only 75 points left. There we go. Confirmation that we are champions of Moto2. Three races left. Of course, they will be in the next video as our rider celebrates.
Hasn't been the easiest of seasons in Moto2, I have to admit. Moto2 bike... It's weird because usually Moto3 is my weakest class and uh, I've felt like Moto2 has been my weakest class so far in MotoGP17 just because of the, the really horrible front end of the KTM. But Anyway guys, that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave it a like if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more content and I shall see you guys in the next video for the final three races of Moto2. See you!